Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. Today, we're changing gears from powder coating to my Jeep. Wanna see what we're about to install? Stick around, find out. All right, thanks for sticking around. As you just saw, we're doing uh, some work on my 2023 Gladiator. It's uh, the Willys version, as you can see there. And what we're doing today, we're throwing some fog lights on it. Or, well, not fog lights, but LED lights. We got our brackets, pick them up off Amazon. I'll throw a link down there for them. Now, I'm not... Uh, I'm not promoting anything here. Nobody's asked me to promote or review any of this stuff. This is just stuff that I've bought myself. So with that, the fog light or the LED lights we're using are these ones. There they are. Let's see if we can't make that a little brighter for you. There we go. That's better. These are straight from Canadian Tire. It says they're one lux at 180 meters. I'm not quite sure how that converts into lumens, but uh, they seem bright. So we're gonna hook them up. And all they are is just a little flat one row LED light. So we're gonna get started. First thing I gotta do is take out some bolts. And they're a T40 bolt, and that'll allow us to put the mount in there. So I'll be right back, and uh, we'll get taken that apart. All right. So it is just these two bolts here. This new mat goes right there, just like that. There is drain holes that match up to the factory drain holes here. And it goes back down in. Now one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna go put some anti-seize on these. So I don't have to worry about uh, them ever getting stuck in there. There, and there we have it. It's on there. Now all I gotta do is put the light bar on. You can see how the bolts are down in there. Got some anti seize because we all know how the bolts up in that area, especially on the old JKs, you'd go to undo them from around the windshield and the thread cert that was in there would just start spinning because everything was seized. We don't want that to happen. So like I said, here's these light bars. I'm gonna get you mount the camera again and uh, get them mounted and start getting them wired. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we've got going so far. I've got some wire run through. It goes right here underneath this piece of foam. I did take this side cowl off, which is just two bolts and those two up there for mounting. That way, when I'm done, I can have the wire run, come right up here, go in underneath, and be tucked out of the way with very little amount of wire being shown. So I'm gonna put everything back together. I'm gonna to mount this so you can watch and uh, we'll go from there. Well, there, now all I have to do is tighten this down so I can decide where I wanna put it. As you can see, the wiring comes in, goes up underneath here, 
comes out here and I'm gonna have it going right here for this wonderful batch of wires that goes direct to my auxiliary switches. Now one thing I did notice, I guess they're called uh, just a little, I can't remember what they're called, but uh, Easter eggs I guess, just little images here and there, kind of, I like the Jeep symbol here on the bottom, a pair of sandals right there, just little touches the Jeep does. So I'm going to uh, make this wiring look a little bit better. I can't have that just dangling around like that, so I'm going to put some covering on it, get that one wired up, figure out what wire it is we need for the auxiliary switch I'm using, which is going to be number three. It's uh, one of the low current ones, and then uh, we'll go from there and uh, show you how they get hooked up. So stick around and be right back. Alright, so here we are under the hood. We've got our wiring here. This here. You see it's got an orange wire. There's two thick gauge and two small gauge wires. These are your auxiliary one and two. The two thins are your three and four. The orange with pink wire, that is our accessory number, or auxiliary number three. If we take our meter, go here to the ground point, you can see nothing. We go turn the ignition on. And I've turned on auxiliary three. You can see we have 12 volts. So that's the one we want. I do have it set up on the in the system to uh, a B latched relay. So they will stay on. And that's done through the, the settings on your screen. We'll have a, some heat shrink for that here shortly. And same with this wire here. Before we can heat shrink anything, we gotta solder it. We got a big old military airplane flying overhead. They were in town doing some practice training. Heading back to Greenwood now, or I'm not sure where, but get some solder in there.
There. So now, I know some of you are probably saying, why not put tape in there? You know, the everyone says heat shrink, tape, solder. It's adhesive lined uh, heat shrink, so there's glue the whole way through it. That's going to be as more watertight than uh, if I just taped it. You put some heat shrink on there, away we go. Same with this. It's a heat shrink watertight terminal. So that should make those connections nice, solid, waterproof, and uh, good to survive whatever I want to put this Jeep through. As there, you will see some videos of me taking this off-road, I do plan to lift it here and do some more stuff to it. So, All right, so i got to go get a, a wrench for here so I can hook up our ground wire. Down like that and then we can test everything and then we can get the other light going and uh, put it all together all right thanks for uh, sticking around we are getting ready I've got the pass the driver's side mounted up there was no difference in that for uh, anything it was just a matter of take the side cowl off like the other one Connect it, mount it, bolt it together, and away we go. What we're doing now is I have these wonderful plugs. I want to be able to have these so when I go to take them apart, if I ever have to replace one, I can turn around, take off the that light itself and away you go. So I'm making a harness with such a connector on it because these didn't come with a plug and play connectors or harness. Once I get it lined up right in the crimpers, because there is a, a right and wrong way on these crimpers. Put them into this end here. But before I do that, it's not waterproof unless I put the, the plugs in there. Those just slide into there. All 
All right, so here we are, still on the Jeep. As you can see, they've got them mounted. The wires are tucked in there, so they're not just flopping anywhere. Same with the passenger or driver's side. I've got the wires run. Still gonna secure them up out of the way here a little bit, but it's just kind of tucked in behind these plastics. And as you saw, I was starting to make some uh, waterproof connections. I have these connectors. This one here goes straight off the main power. This one here goes over to the driver's side. So if I have to replace any of these lights, I unplug this connector or that connector, whichever one's needed. I could take out the, the light, reconnect it, and plug it back in and away we go. So what I got to do, I've already tested them. So now I just got to make this harness look, look like the factory. So, I'm going to grab some tape, like I said, I don't normally use uh, tape under the hood like this, but every other wire down here is done with uh, the exterior Tessa tape, so keeping everything looking like the factory, I'm going to do the same, and uh, when I'm done, it's going to look just like the factory was there. Looked like the, everything was meant to be there from the factory, which would be that much easier if I ever have to go for warranty. So stick around, I'm going to get taping up some stuff. Alright, so we just finished tucking the wires up, zip tying them in place, and covering them over. As you can see, it's just like the factory would have. One little spot there you see coming through. Everything goes down. Everything zip tied in place. And even on this side, you can see how the wire comes along there. And it tucks up. Goes up underneath, just like the other side, comes out and done. So, I'm going to close the hood here, turn them on for you, and uh, hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully it helps you out if you're doing this as well for your job. I know, I know on the forums and some of the posts there's been a lot of questions where to get wires to do this sort of thing. So, like I said, auxiliary three. Get the key in here closer. There we go. Auxiliary three. You can see the, the light comes on a little bit. But then we have those. And they'll stay on. So I turn them off or turn the vehicle off. And they don't come back on. I got them turned off so they, it doesn't remember how it was before. That way I don't accidentally leave them on and forget about them. So, but that job is done. There will be more done to this Jeep. This, If you remember my last Jeep, it was a 2015 Wrangler JK lifted five and a half inch on metal cloak, 37 by 13 and a half by 17 inch tires and it was basically built to go anywhere as I felt like putting it. This one's not going to be built as big but it's still still going to be built to go places. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, watch the build of this as we go and uh, watch me make a fool of myself. So till next time, stay warm, keep it loud.